the new hot ticket for off-road knuckles is the 2005 and above Super Duty Dana 60 knuckle. This knuckle is super strong from its factory configuration. It's better than all of the kingpin knuckles from the past. The great thing about these knuckles is you can run a big bell like Rockwell size RCV or a 1550 size U-joint inside the knuckle without modification. But they have a couple downfalls and we're going to show you how to fix it. Everybody who has one of these knuckles or has looked into these knuckles has realized that they come factory with ball joints top and bottom. Now, the ball joints are kind of a weak link. A lot of people are bending the upper ball joints. So we have a fix for that. These are called ball joint eliminators. And what they do is they replace the factory ball joint with this solid, big, beefy pin right here. You weld this into the top of the knuckle, replace it with this pin, and everything slides on this bushing. This is much stronger than those weak upper ball joints. Now the lower ball joints, they don't really fail that much, so we're gonna replace those with a good set of moogs, and we're having good luck with that. So the other big downfall, number two, for these knuckles is that there's not a good high steer option for these knuckles. There's places that mill them down and whatnot, but this is a cast steel knuckle and it's really easy to weld to, so we're gonna fix that by doing our own high steer arms. We're gonna show you how. So when you get your knuckles, they're gonna come straight from the junkyard or whatever, just like this, basically. And you're gonna have to go in and you're gonna have to clean them up. Now, there's a couple things to note about these knuckles. First of all, it's a casting. So no two that are gonna be exactly the same. They're all gonna be slightly different. Um, the second thing is, is you, you do wanna kinda of preheat these knuckles before you start welding to them because even though it's a cast steel, the casting is gonna cool a little bit faster than the weld that you're putting on it. And it's a good idea to do a preheat right before you weld. So you wanna make sure you get everything clean and we're gonna preheat a little bit and then we're gonna do our weld. So to start off, I want to mention that the left hand and the right hand side knuckle are different from the uh, left hand side and the right hand side. They have different dimensions. So if you look real close on this knuckle here, it's actually got a longer pad than this one here. It's also at a different angle. So unfortunately, these kits, uh, like everybody's kits that are on the market, take a little bit of grinding to make everything work. You're basically going to get a bunch of plasma cut uh, pieces that are like this right here. Uh, once you get those pieces and you get everything bolted on, you basically have to do some grinding to make them fit just perfect. Like I said, every knuckle that's on the planet is going to be a little bit different, so there's going to be a little bit of grinding. <laughs> So what we recommend doing is taking the knuckles and putting them on a flat plane. So like we have them right here on our garage fab table. We're gonna set these down just like this right here. We're gonna measure off the table and then we're gonna tack everything into place so that they're basically the same distance from the table and they have the same angle. Whenever you're about to fire up your torch, this old fire breathing dragon right here, make sure you use your pretty pink Kingsford little lighter here. No, I'm just kidding. Make sure you do it right. That's kind of scary. putting an inch and a half spacer right here because what ends up happening is if you try to weld this it's going to try to draw so putting your inch and a half spacer inside there when you tighten everything down it's going to stay with an inch and a half so we always recommend putting spacers in on the arms so that whenever you weld it it doesn't draw and get you out of tolerance
this is what it's supposed to look like when it's all said and done. You got a 3 8 plate in the middle, you got a 3 8 plate on top, an uh, inch and a half 250 wall piece of tubing that goes from the factory knuckle point all the way up here to the top. Now, this is not an easy thing to put together. If you're a good fabricator, you can absolutely do this at home, but it does take some grinding. Now, we do have the option also for you to send your knuckles in. We have a jig. We can bolt all this stuff together and weld them out for you. Or you can go on to BustedKnuckleOffRoad.com and you can go ahead and order a knuckle with the high steer arm on it. So we have a bunch of different options for everybody out there. And this knuckle with the ball joint eliminators and these high steer arms, it's hard to beat. with these knuckles, there's one big downfall in the steering and that, uh, those are slow. You gonna tell them this is the badass way of uh, striking a torch? Yeah, there's two ways to strike your torch. This is the badass way. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That was sad. It sounds cool. Is it on? I thought for sure it was gonna work. Is it on? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't work. Wah, wah. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll put that in the outtakes. <laughs> it's hot. You're burning me. <laughs> Why are so you? So when you're done welding, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> I didn't do anything to you. I'm just trying to instruct the people on the internet and give them all the information they need. At my, at my cost of health, that's the problem. <laughs> Okay, yeah. ready? Yeah. So when you get done welding these things out, this is what it's supposed to look like. You basically have this huge high steer arm that comes off the top. It's welded all the way around to the back side of the knuckle, and you can either use it in single or double shear right here on this spot. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like when it's all said and done, you've got a 3 8 plate on top, you've got a 3 8 plate in the middle. middle. <laughs> so hot and floppy. Okay, ready? It's too hot and floppy. It's hot and floppy. All right. <laughs>